located along the Columbia River over in the city of Pasco lays a typical park with the sand volleyball court, boat launch, playgrounds, and picnic areas. It is a place for families and friends to grow closer together. Unlike other regional parks, such as Howard Amon and Columbia Park, not many large festivals or community events are held here. It's a simple, quiet park with great potential. Welcome to Chihuahua Park. Managed by the city of Pasco under an agreement with the Army Corps of Engineers. Currently found in Chihuahua are three covered picnic areas, four horseshoe pits, and a sand volleyball court, all of which are located on the west end of the park. One playground is found on the east end and one on the west end. Also found on the west end is a boat dock and on the east end a boat launch. Now, you may be wondering what divides the west end of the park from the east end. Approximately 630 yards of dry, unused land splits Chihuahua. Of the 127 acres that make up Chihuahua Park, only 25 is actually developed. Here, we can see the full size of the park. However, let's focus on the relatively small area that is most typically known as Chihuahua Park. Here's the east end and the west end. And here's the 600 plus yards of unused land in between. Chihuahua has the potential to be an amazing park. It can be as Howard Amon is to Richland and Columbia Park is to Hennaway. We have 102 acres of land that can make Chihuahua more than a quiet 41-year-old park. This is the issue we bring forth today. Yes, I do use parks. Park, yes. Yeah, I like parks. Parks are the amazingness and essence of community. Yes, I do use parks. Yeah, I go to park. Hey, do you guys like parks? Yeah. We are lucky to live in an area where there is an abundant amount of parks. There are 25 parks in the city of Pasco alone. However, what Pasco doesn't have is that one park the city of Pasco and its community can be proud of. Chihuahua can become this park, a park built by the community for the community. What makes Chihuahua distinct from all the other parks in Pasco is its location. Chihuahua is next to the beautiful Columbia River, and this results in the number of wildlife seen around and in the park. This prime location should be used to its full extent, but right now it's not. It just it looks like a really old park that the community kind of like forgot about, because like I said, it's quiet. The other side, uh, the east side of Chihuahua Park, uh, they certainly could improve the playground a little bit. Right now, Chihuahua is half the size it could be. There's plenty of available land that can be used. Land that is right now going to waste. What sort of things do people look for in a park? Mainly open space. That's primarily what I'm looking for when I go. Fun? Family fun. Chihuahua Park is very well capable of providing such things. But it can provide this and more if more of the land is better utilized. Making Chihuahua into the city park of Pasco will create a sense of community in the city. You know, I hope one of, one of these days they're going to put something there. You know, I could even imagine having a a community center down there, uh, sort of like Richland, you know, it's uh, certainly one of the prettiest spots in Pasco, you know, uh, close to the river and all that, so everybody gets to enjoy it. Uh, so I think there's room for all kinds, you know, wherever uh, some areas are a little more in the natural state, but maybe other areas a little bit more in the city fights. So. 
so it can act as a gathering place for families, community events, whatever the case may be, which is, it's, it, it's important for communities to be able to do that too, so. So, how is Chihuahua going to become the large, thriving community park as it should be? We'll have to rely on the efforts of the community. However, getting stuff done in Chihuahua is not the easiest thing to do in the world. Well, in the course of our research, we did call the Pascal Recreation, and we found out, ask, after asking them a couple questions, that the area that is Chihuahua Park, the 127, develop, 127 acres and the 25 acres, actually belongs to the Army Corps of Engineers. And the uh, Army Corps of Engineers are simply leasing the property to Pasco Rec. So Pasco Rec maintain it, they make sure it's clean, make sure, you know, it's all good, upkept. But Army Corps of Engineers do um, currently own it. And so, but to improve the park, say fixing the bathrooms or adding a new swing set, the Pasco Rec has to ask the permission from um, the Army Corps of Engineers. And to do something simply as fixing a swing set, it actually takes one to two years to get the permission from the Army Corps of Engineers. And so, you know, bureaucracy gets in the way. And so we were kind of curious to see exactly why this would happen, why it takes such a long time. But um, when calling the Army Corps of Engineers, we found uh, we were unable to make contact with them. And so we left the message, but they never contacted us back. And so we tried calling again, but still were unable to get a definitive answer. And so in the same way that they haven't been cooperative with Pasco Rec, I guess you could say they haven't been cooperative with us, but um, Pasco Recreation, they do have a master plan for Chihuahua Park that they would like to implement, but they've just never had the chance because Pasco and Rec won't, or excuse me, Army Corps of Engineers won't provide the permission. And um, another obstacle is, could be that um, a little bit of the land is protected because of animal habitats. And so there's that consideration. And also the levee, which is along the riverside, um, would have to be modified or changed in such a way that they would allow for developed land before you could actually develop it. But you know, that only pertains to the edge. And so the huge lot of just kind of dead grass and sagebrush that's in between the two west end and the east end of the parks could still be used for a really nice Chihuahua Park. And simply, it's really a matter of permission, as of now. After discussing with some of the locals about the idea of further developing the park, they seemed to like how parts of the park still remained undeveloped. It's more like natural, it's not like really fake looking or anything. There's plenty of grass. That's fine. Like yeah. play, you, know, you can have some wilderness type grass. With rugged, it has uh, that sort of woodsy area that's great for people to walk their dogs, that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, bird watchers come here and... Uh... Looking from the outside, it is easy to think that Chihuahua is half the park it could be. But for those who live along Chihuahua, it is the park it should be. I really like it the way it is. We like it the way it is right here. <laughs> Do I like it? Yes. Perhaps the simpleness and quietness of Chihuahua is what the local residents like the most about the park. Should Chihuahua grow? That would have to be answered by the community as a whole. As wonderful as the idea of making Chihuahua into a community park may be, people may just like Chihuahua as it is. And perhaps leaving Chihuahua as it is is what is best for the community.